Hey, what's up guys? This is Debarshi Kundu here with Kundu Productions. And today I will be reviewing a new piece of software known as Shift. So what is Shift? Shift is basically an email application which condenses all of your emails together. Shift has support for Gmail, Inbox, Outlook, and Office 365 accounts. So if I just press that X button, now you'll see my Gmail. And as you can see, it looks like a traditional Google user interface. But all it's got is you've got Shift added to the corners and the uh, sides. So I'm able to compose an email either through pressing Compose here like through the traditional Google interface, or I'm able to compose an email by clicking on the bar on top, right here, using Shift. Personally, I kind of feel that they should have just kicked out this, uh, kept this uh, compose option off because I find, kind of find it redundant that they'd put compose here but they, at the same time they'd utilize Google's API and use the compose function from that so that's just my nitpicking right there but other than that I like the user interface it looks pretty neat it's minimalistic I gotta say you know it only adds on a little bit to the traditional Google interface and so as you can see, I have three icons right here. I have a mail icon, I have a Google Drive icon, and I have a calendar icon right in the middle. So if I were to click calendar, I am easily able to access my calendar. And you have basically all of the functions that you would within Google Calendar. <coughs> Excuse me. So I can quick add, I can still create a normal event manually. And it works just fine, like your normal Google Calendar. And then towards the right of that, we have the Google Drive. This is where I kind of disliked the application slightly a little bit. I don't know if I'm nitpicking on this, but what bothers me is that we have Google Drive in a separate tab. That's great, just like the uh, Gmail and the... Google Calendar. However, when you open up one of these documents, it doesn't open up in the same window or in a different tab within the application. It opens up the Safari browser or whatever browser is your default browser. And you view your document and edit it in your browser. What is the purpose of that? I mean, like, you, you, we downloaded this application so we don't have to use the browser and so that we can quickly access our stuff without starting up Safari or Chrome or whatever the hell browser you use. But now, every time you access a, a document from Drive, you're going to have to access it through a browser. And I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I... No shift is new, and I hope that shift is taking some notes or maybe watching this review right now, because to the creators of shift, I just gotta say, in in your next version, please, just please, create a function within this application that allows us to see multiple documents within a window in the application. I really recommend that because I didn't install this to to look at documents from a web browser. I wouldn't have to install anything to do that. However, everything else is just fine. I mean, it's the traditional Google user interface with shift added along. And as I mentioned before, Google is not the 
only type of account you can run. You can run Gmail, you can run Inbox, which is technically Google, or you can run Outlook or Office 365. Unfortunately, it does not support Yahoo Mail yet, even though, again, shift, I hope that you're taking notes and that you will add other forms of social media within this. In fact, why not add Facebook? You know, some people actually use Facebook for business. So if you were to add a connect to Facebook account option, that would be great. And other than that, it's an amazing application. I mean, I can literally do everything I can on my web browser through this, but much faster. And, well, that's me enlarging the, w the window, and that's what it looks like. It shows how many emails you have when, when you... Uh, When, when you minimize, which is pretty neat. And so today I'm going to show you my inbox account too, which I also added. It's just a different user interface, a little more minimalistic, I'd say. And I'm able to access my chats here and start up a new conversation and do all the traditional stuff that you could do within your web browser. However, when I click on YouTube, once again, it pulls out a new web browser. I can click Google+, Plus, but it's going to pull out a new web browser. You get the picture here? Basically, we're creating an application that's centralized on email, and then it utilizes Calendar and Drive but every time you click something within a calendar, drive, YouTube, or something like that, it's going to pop up in a new window. And I get that this app was focused mainly on email, but what is the purpose of adding these functionalities if all it's going to do is it's going to open up in a new browser. We don't need an application to do that. That's my review of uh, Shift right there. By the way, before I leave, I just want to say that this is a trial version. It has full functionality, but it is a trial version. The trial lasts 30 days, and you actually have to buy it. And it you buy it on a yearly license. So... I think it costs approximately $19.99 a year, which isn't that bad. But the good news is that if you do test it out and you try it, you can refer people. And for one friend to sign up, uh, the sent with shift signature uh, gets removed because like every time you email someone, it'll say sent with shift. Thankfully, that gets removed if you get one friend to sign up. And with five friends to sign up, you get one year of ship for pro for free. So just five friends, and you can just share on Facebook, Twitter, or you can invite by email. So we have it there. Shift, a great software product that I think is trying too much. If you're going to focus on email, just focus on email. You shouldn't just put links to other applications that will open up a web browser. We don't need a web browser. We can just, like, if you really wanted to access one of these documents or whatnot, we could just have started up Safari and done so. But overall, I like it. I like it a lot. It's quick, it's fast, and it's universal. I can... I can add as many accounts I want that are of these types, and I like that. Just shift, take my word, and add new accounts, please. Thank you.